Cryptocurrencies are an exciting prospect for our future, and with it likely to revolutionize our financial system in some shape or form, many investors are jumping on onto the crypto train in the hopes that their investments will reap large rewards in the future. Although it's great that many individuals are taking an interest in cryptocurrencies, unfortunately there is a bit of a knowledge gap, and unfortunately when that happens, people can be exploited. This is when you get an army of investors buying up so-called meme coins like Dogecoin and Shibu Inu without really knowing what they're putting their money into. That's what we're here to talk about in today's episode. We're going to look at what meme coins are, how risky of an investment are they, and whether you should invest in them. I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. Before we get into today's episode, I just want to do a quick reminder that I am currently running a cash giveaway competition to celebrate my monetization here on YouTube. Um, the deadline for that is closing this Saturday on the 4th at midnight. So if you do want to be in with a chance to win, check out the link in the description box and in the cards right now on how you can enter. Good luck and let's get back to the video. So what are meme coins? Put simply, meme coins are a type of cryptocurrencies, but they are inspired by social media or pop culture jokes. According to CoinMarketCap, which is a price tracking website for crypto assets, they have said that there is around 124 meme coins currently on the market today, and you have probably heard of some of them as well. The most popular one is Dogecoin, which references a very famous meme by a Shibu Inu dog named Kabusu, Kabusu, probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Um, this was the first ever meme to be created way back in 2013, and it rose to fame after an Elon Musk tweet. Shibu Inu is another meme coin which also stems from the same thing, but it was created as a competitor to Dogecoin, and that's why it got its nickname as the Dogecoin Killer. So those are the two most popular ones, but other ones on the list are a Tiger King coin, which is inspired by the, you guessed it, Netflix series Tiger King. There is a Garlic coin, which was created when a Redditor posted a title saying, if this post gets 30,000 votes, I'll make a garlic bread currency. And we also have the Floki Inu coin, which is also a coin inspired by the Shibu Inu meme, but it was named Floki because that is the name of Elon Musk's dog. And I can go on and on. But it does make you think, surely a cryptocurrency which has its origins based on a joke or a meme can't be taken seriously. Even the creator of Dogecoin admitted that he originally created the cryptocurrency as a joke. But why has meme coins in 2021 seen such a surge in investor activity? which actually caused one of these meme coins, Shibu Inu, to break it into the top 10 cryptocurrencies in terms of market cap, with a share of around $29 billion. Now, before we go any further, I just want to disclaim that I don't actually hold a strong position with meme coins. I currently don't invest in them, simply because I don't feel like I know enough about them, and I didn't want to create this video with a bias. I didn't want to show off whether meme coins were a good or a bad investment. I simply just want to lay out key facts so that you and I can make an informed decision about whether this is a good investment opportunity for us. So what is the difference between meme coins and other cryptocurrencies? So as I've already mentioned, meme coins are a type of cryptocurrency. Now what distinguishes it from the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are the two largest players in the crypto market, is essentially what their purpose is, or what is known as their utility. Essentially, what is the point of these coins? Do they serve to solve a problem? And this is what distinguishes meme coins from other major crypto assets on the market. Bitcoin and Ethereum were created to tackle real world issues. Their objective is to get their coins to be widely accepted by merchants to form some kind of new decentralized currency, which will revolutionize how we handle and spend money. And it's slowly happening. Many companies are slowly adopting Bitcoin as a form of payment. These companies include Wikipedia, Microsoft, branches of Burger King in Venezuela and in Germany, just to name a few. Other examples of companies using crypto technology is a company called VeChain, who are making it possible to streamline supply chains and introducing the ability to track every step of a product's life cycle. So if there was ever an outbreak of a particular bacteria on a food product, for example, a supermarket would be able to use this technology to trace a product back to its source so that they can minimize the outbreak. So what is the purpose of these meme coins? What problem are they trying to solve or at least to improve? Well, put simply, the answer is nothing. I've already mentioned that the owner of Dogecoin already admitted that he created the coin as a joke 
and looking at other meme coins, they too don't really want to solve any real world problems. So what is the point in them? So really the only purpose of these coins is to make money from them. But how do they do that? They essentially want investors like you and I to hop on board and buy these coins in droves, which will then drive the price up so that they can be later sold for a handsome profit. So let's look at a real life example of how this has been done. We'll take Shibu Inu as our example, which I've already mentioned was a spin-off coin from the original coin, Dogecoin, and it recently passed Dogecoin in terms of market cap, breaking into the top 10 cryptocurrencies with a current market cap of $29 billion. Looking at the recent price history of Shibu Inu, which is actually very difficult to read by the way, because of the amount of zeros that they have. But let's look at how you would have fared if you invested $1,000 a few months ago and how much that money would be worth today. So if you bought $1,000 worth of coins on the 9th of April, 2021, Shibu Inu was priced at 0.0000007 dollars. And if we look at the price a few months later where Shibu Inu actually reached its all time peak, of $0.00008, and that happened on the 27th of October, 2021, you would have seen an increase of 114,000%. So that means in the space of five months, your $1,000 would have turned into $1,141,860. And you can find it similar examples of this happening with other meme coins as well. But I'm sure you'll agree, even in my example, turning $1,000 to over a million dollars in the space of a few months is mouthwatering and it grabs a lot of people's attention. It grabs my attention. But what caused this price to increase? And equally, what caused it to decrease in value to $0.0004, which is almost a drop of 50%? Why is this market so volatile? And it's all to do with speculation. And that is true for the entire crypto market not just specific to meme coins. But in this example, there was a rumor that Robinhood, which is a popular trading platform, were going to list Shibu Inu as one of the cryptocurrencies that you can actually trade on their platform. And still to this day, that hasn't been confirmed yet. And earlier on in the month, Elon Musk tweeted about his new Shibu Inu dog, Floki, which somehow sparked an increase of 400% in the coin's price. And if you've been following the news, you'd realize that this isn't actually the first time a tweet can have a massive impact on the value of crypto assets. The market itself is highly volatile and that is something that you have to really understand before going into this, especially as I've already mentioned that these coins are really only in existence because investors want to sell them at a higher price than they originally bought them. So I've just demonstrated an example of what could be seen as a win for the meme coins, but let's also look at the flip side. And that came in the form of Squidcoin, which if you haven't guessed already, rose in popularity because of the hit Netflix series Squid Game, which is amazing by the way. So if you haven't seen that, do that now. So this was a meme digital coin that people could buy and use in online games. Now let's look at the price history for this coin. Now on the 26th of October, 2021, it was priced at $0.0195. And that turned into $2,861 on the 1st of November. That is an astonishing increase that has just happened in the space of four days, which sounds great, but on the exact same day, it crashed at an even faster rate to $0.003. And this all happened in one day. <laughs> the team behind Squidcoin pulled the rug, causing the price of the coin to collapse completely to essentially zero. And what's worse off, the majority of the holders of these Squidcoins were actually barred from selling off the coin in general. So they were just stuck with them. They couldn't actually sell it off whilst they saw the price tumbling down. There is an article on CNBC which talks about an individual story on how he lost his entire life savings of $28,000 because he put it all on Squid Coin. And he did it purely based on the fact that he thought the show Squid Game was very in right now. And this is the knowledge gap that I was talking about at the very beginning of my video because with knowledge gap, there will be people, unfortunately, that will use this to exploit you. Now we can all read this article and think, oh my God, what a silly thing for this individual to do and put all of their life savings into a coin. But it is the unfortunate reality that there are individuals out there 
that will take what is potentially revolutionary to our future economy and use it to scam people to make a quick buck. And when individuals see the gains that you can make, like the example that I showed with the Shiba Inu coin and the Squid coin, it is very easy for our emotions to get the better of us. Let's be real here. You're not telling me when I told you that your $1,000 could turn into a million dollars in the space of five months. That didn't cause some kind of emotional reaction because it sure did for me. But what you need to remember is, is that these coins don't really have a purpose. And that's important because when you see price increases on this scale, it's not because the company of these coins have found a major breakthrough in crypto tech. It's simply because they are relying on the communities to buy these coins that will then drive the price of these coins up so that they can be sold at a higher price at a later date. Now it can be argued because there is such a huge community behind these coins now that in their own right they can turn into some form of decentralized currency and that is of course plausible but the problem is that most of the people buying these coins are buying it so that they can sell it at a higher price later on. And because of this, it is highly likely that the prices of these meme coins will evidently fall. Just as I've demonstrated how the prices can increase so quickly, once momentum starts getting behind the selling of these coins, expect the price of these coins to fall and fall fast. So on to the big question, should you invest in them? Fundamentally, it is down to you and your risk appetite. Because essentially putting any money into meme coins is, in my opinion, closer to gambling than it is investing. And I know some of you will probably be saying, oh, but investing is the same as gambling. Although I do acknowledge that the lines can be blurred, uh, there is a significant difference. When you are investing, this involves purchasing an asset that you believe will lead to a stable income for the future. For example, investing in Bitcoin because you believe they will lead the race in becoming the first decentralized digital currency. Or investing in Apple because you think they'll continue to make smart products that people will want to buy. Whereas gambling is basically purchasing uncertain risky assets with the goal to make quick cash. I mean, how are you going to know whether the price of a Shibu Inu coin or a meme coin is going to go up or go down? What information do you have to base on this? A simple tweet? That can happen anytime. Now there are positives when it comes to meme coins. For one, they have a really strong market presence with more than $51 billion in market cap and it has made some investors very very rich now you do have to be extremely lucky to make the gains that i said in my video um, but it is possible to make some gains but we do have to remember that on the flip side the market is extremely volatile and the prices can change in a matter of hours minutes or even seconds and come crashing down personally i don't have any stake in meme coins at this point in time but it is something i am looking into I have acknowledged that any money that I do put towards meme coins is money I am prepared to lose and more importantly I am comfortable with losing. One of the key fundamentals with investments whether it's risky or safe is that we should never let our emotions get the better of us when it comes to making decisions and that is a fundamental I always hold dear so make sure that you do your research, find out the team behind these coins, read their white paper which is basically them listing out the project behind this coin is this project feasible and always exercise caution when going into this you can always make things less riskier with the more you know I will let you know what my decision is and what coin I actually invest in if I do go ahead with it uh, I'll probably put it in an Instagram post um, or I'll put it as a YouTube post so do follow me on those channels if you haven't done so already that's a quick reminder for you to subscribe um, and maybe yeah I might make a progress video on how it has gone as well but that is my decision. I would strongly encourage you to do as much research as possible on the topic, maybe find out what your risk appetite is and get comfortable with the idea that any money that you do put towards meme coins is money that you are prepared to lose and is money that you can afford to lose. We don't want to have a strong financial impact on our day-to-day -day living. That would be very, very bad. Cool, so that is it for this week's episode. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any more thoughts on meme coins. And if you did find this video extremely useful, I would appreciate if you smash that like button. That does wonders for the YouTube algorithm and the growth of my channel. And remember, I release a video every single week. So if you want to keep up to date with those, hit the subscribe button too. See you later. Bye.